entender cómo funcionan los juguetes grandes, los juguetes para servidores y puntualmente los procesadores nuevos que llegan al mercado orientados a mejorar todo el rendimiento por medio de la inteligencia artificial de hardware y de software no es fácil, pero en TechCetera nosotros nos damos a la tarea de explicarlo de una manera simple para que usted no tenga que ir a otro sitio a buscar más información con el fin de entenderlo. So Lisa, do you think that we are in a AI bubble? And if we are, in which part are we? No, I really don't think we're in an AI bubble. I think we are just at the beginning of so much more opportunity being opened up. Um, I just, I think I've been in the industry too long to believe that because if I look back to 10 years ago at the start of AI, we said, oh, are we in a bubble? And then we move from, you know, a recommendation system uh, or image recognition to recommendation. And then that, oh, this can't keep going. And then we got to natural language processing. And then here we are with generative AI. So I would never bet against the, you know, human brain power that's being applied to AI and what opportunity exists. So I think we're um, in a long-term sustained growth and change of workloads to all encompass and have AI as part of them. What we might see is years or periods of time where you see some leveling out as new models come and then adoption, then new models and then adoption. Okay, and why Xeon and not any other technology? So. Xeon is hands down the best CPU for AI. It's got AI acceleration built in. It has now a decade of software work behind it. It has solutions from major partners, from our OEMs, from our cloud service providers, from our ISVs, from our channel partners. So the entire ecosystem is built up around Xeon for AI. However, I do fundamentally believe there's room in the industry for even more AI silicon and success. So whether that comes from uh, GPUs, whether it comes from things like our Gaudi silicon, there is a curve of AI solutions. And what Xeon is great for is those smaller large language models and also delivering inferencing. So if you think of, again, a, a chat bot that's used at an airline's reservation system, that's going to be a three to five billion parameter model. You can absolutely fine tune that. You can give day-to-day -day inference and continual improvements to that, running fantastic and for great total cost of ownership in your data center infrastructure. You do not need to spend any additional you know, money or capital or wait long times for GPUs in order to make that work. If you're trying to build the next all-encompassing, you know, chat GPT language <laughs> model, you probably need a little bit more than what just Xeon can provide. Okay, and last one. What is new on this fifth generation Xeon? Yeah. Uh, if you compare it to the last one, and you are pretty much telling that to your dad, okay. that it may be not techy. Yeah. So fifth gen Xeon we're super excited about, and it brings some new capabilities to the table. One of the important ones is of course, just continued performance improvements for every workload, but also it takes down the power that's required to deliver that performance. So we're really proud of the sustainability of the product and how we're fundamentally making compute take less power than before. And this opens up opportunity for, you know, improving how much you can do and where you can invest. And then the other thing is our security features. Everyone knows, you know, no matter what industry you're in or just as a consumer, how important protecting your data is. And so we're continuing to invest in new security features that fundamentally block off access for any bad actors to your data. And I'm really proud of that because it has implications, not just for a business, but for us as humans trying to privately protect our lives. The last thing is just the AI advancements. Again, we talk a lot about hardware at Intel, but for fifth gen Xeon, the biggest, most significant performance improvements in AI are coming from our software. And I'm really excited for the world to see that. Thank you.